period in Abu Dhabi has been extended by a day as 116 nations struggle to find consensus. Meanwhile, Thailand has replaced its ambassador. This after India protested against some comments made on the subsidized food grain procurement program. Abhi Manu Sharma joins us now from Abu Dhabi on the progress so far. Abhi. The formal closing session of the WTO Ministerial 13 in Abu Dhabi uh, continues to be delayed even as negotiations are continuing on the fifth day. Uh, the negotiations were slated to conclude in four days but they are still continuing uh, with ministers and representatives from all member countries engaged in intense discussions to ensure uh, that an outcome uh, comes out of this ministerial. Now several key takeaways for many countries. As far as India is concerned, uh, one key takeaway is of course the fact that India stands to gain uh, from the service services agreement, uh, particularly the cost of trading in services would be cut by a new pact uh, which has been signed by as many as 72 countries, though India is not a signatory to the pact, but India will stand to gain as it is going to cut the regulatory cost uh, of trade and services in which India is also going to be a beneficiary. Uh, additionally, uh, India has welcomed the addition of two new members uh, to the WTO, uh, namely Comoros and Timor Leste, uh, and uh, India has also said that another positive outcome out of this ministerial is the fact that LDCs will continue to get the benefit of being LDCs even three years after graduating from being least developed countries. Uh, so negotiations are continuing. Uh, the issue of remittances, the issue of public stock holding, fisheries continue to be discussed at the ministerial even as all countries are engaged in discussions to ensure that an outcome comes out of this ministerial. All right, so extended by a day, negotiations underway at the WTO. Abhimanyu, many thanks for joining us. With that, it is time.